Module 15 is called Miscellany. In this video, we're going to look at the barcodes and look at how they're implemented in 2.21. So my objectives for this video is to give you the fundamentals you need for working with barcode report objects. Barcodes are found in the toolbox. There's a special section called barcodes. And inside of the toolbox, you'll see that there are six barcodes listed. We've listed the most common six barcodes that we think you're going to come across. You would click and drag and drop that barcode onto your report. And different barcodes are going to have different properties. When you drag and drop them across on the report, once it's on the report, you can access a wide variety of other barcode code types that go beyond the list of six that you see here. So if you want to place a barcode on your report that's not of the six types that are in the toolbox, go ahead and put that barcode object onto the report, then go, click on that object, go into the properties, and under code type, you can change it to be the code type that you need it to be. And again, different barcodes are going to have different properties. So if I put down a UPCA, it's going to have different properties than if I put down a code 128. So what are the important barcode properties? When you go to the properties box, you're going to see the section called barcode. The first one is going to be the code type, and that's the list of barcode formats that we support in Report Designer. If you need a barcode format that's not in the code type property list, please contact your local support so that we can add it to the product. We have a code value. This is the data for the barcode to print, so the information is coming across as a data item from your data schema, and that lets us know how to format and display the barcode that you selected. We have the concept of a check digit. A check digit is a form of a redundancy check that's used for error detection. So it's like the decimal equivalent of a binary checksum. It's going to contain a single digit computed from the other digits in the message. And with a check digit, one can detect simple errors in the input of a series of digits, such as a, a single mistyped digit or some permutation of two successive digits. For fidelity, fidelity is going to ensure that the preview and the printout are 100% the same. So this is going to be a Boolean. Uh, with the fidelity, it's going to control the way text is output. So if this is set, the property ensures that the preview and the printout are the same. In some places, this is necessary when the operating system font definitions deviate from the built-in font definitions of the printer. This flag then instructs the output routine not to use the printer font. And the last one is the hide text. If you want to suppress the display of values underneath the barcode, you can check the hide text boolean. The remaining five properties for barcodes are not always going to be used. These properties only need to be set for specific code types. And for each property, the list is limited. So refer to the document page named element properties if you're going to be setting these or if you're going to be working with these more. So the first, the number of digits and the number of check digits, some bar barcodes have variable digits. And for these, you will probably need to either set number of digits or the number of check digits. For the thick to thin relation, gap to relation, some barcodes need to have their thick to thin or thin to gap ratio set. Again, depending upon the barcode type. The last possible property, the control characters, that's going to configure which characters to use for textual printout of control characters for code 93 and code 93 extended barcode types. Finally, depending upon the value of the code type and the check properties, not all values are going to be able to be printed by the barcode. Uh, it tests for the correctness and the length, so you may find that you have to have good data. It also can text the check digit, and you can disable this check if you don't have good data. This is going to end my introduction to barcodes. If you have any further questions about working with barcodes or any specific questions, I would encourage you to not only contact your local support, but also to use the forum on our support site.